Well, it can't be denied we don't live in exciting times. Uh, as Flex developers, we've been very keen to start extending our reach beyond just the web and start building applications on mobile devices. It looks like that time's arrived. Adobe have just released Burrito and Hero, and you can go to their website, adobe.com, to find out more about that. Um, but they, in this, in these new releases allow us to start building applications that run on the Android platform, and indeed we can port that over to run on the, uh, on, on the Apple machines as well, so the iPad and the iPhone. Um, I was interested to, to, to read just the other day about a mapping application that was a uh, demo which was done by Mansour, Mansour and Rad at uh, ESRI and I'll show you the, uh, the, the blog entry that he's got um, when we get to the end of the video here. But he's just released some code which uh, show uh, how he developed a mapping application which runs uh, using the, the ArcGIS Flex API. Um, just a simple application which runs on a droid. Um, I've actually downloaded his code and uh, I've just uh, run it and I wanted to show you what it looked like. So if we look to the left of the screen, excuse my looking away but it's on this other screen next to me. It's a multi-screen application. That's what, it's, that's what the first screen looks like. So it's basically just a query page. It's asking for a state name. So we could just type in the first letter of a state or in this case since I'm in Utah Let's type in Utah as our query. Clicking on the query button in the top right hand corner transitions the application over to the next screen and shows us a map. Now this is a, base, a streets based map taken from the Esri library. It is fully interactive so you can pan it, you can zoom it and of course we've actually added as an overlay the state of Utah to the top of that. Had we put in M it would have, it would have shown all of the states uh, in the union which uh, start with M. Um, so it's a pretty nice little application actually. I was really impressed when I downloaded it. The code you'll see in the in the window just here. This is in Flash Builder. This is Burrito. Um, I'm not going to walk through the files that make up the the uh, application, but one thing I wanted to point out to you is in the libraries directory there are three SWICs. The first one is the uh, ArcGIS 2.1 SWIC. Um, and there's a couple of others which have been taken just from the, the burrito directory. There's the mx.swic and then there's the sparkskins.swic. I actually skipped through um, Mansour's article and forgot to put those in. If you don't have those in place, then the application won't run for you. You'll error out. So be careful to make sure you have those in place. Um, Mansour has a, a blog out there. If, if you're interested in, in mapping applications and specifically for ArcGIS, then this is a great resource. It's uh, Thunderhead Explorer. Um, it's on Blogspot. Uh, this is the article that uh, he's talking about, and I'll, uh, there's the link to it. It's a very short entry in his blog, but it gives you all the details about how to install it. Um, it gives you the source code and 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 various important links to Adobe and to various document documents that you'll need. Now we're really really excited about building mobile applications. We're interested in um, phones like the Droid and the, uh, and the iPhone but what really is, is intriguing to us is to start building applications for tablet devices like the iPad and the various Android uh, tablet uh, PCs that are going to be released at the end of this year and the start of next year. So we're thinking that it's going to be a really exciting time for building flex applications on these type of devices particularly if you're interested in in the location based uh, applications such as what uh, Mensor works with ArcGIS or any of the other um, open source applications that are out there so location based data will have a, a will, will be revolutionized if I can use that term when we have devices which are, are mobile and we can run those applications on a mobile device so more to come on that, I've actually built some stuff with open source as well and, and done this, uh, something similar to what we've done here with, uh, with ArcGIS and I'll show that in another video. Thanks for watching.